Hello, the internet. Today we are talking about the MT-28, Team Associated's entry into the budget-priced, small-scale RC scene. Is this worth $60? No. It's total crap. Frankly, it makes me angry that this thing even exists. Uh, I did the RC scene back in the 90s when I was a youth, uh, dipped my toe in it again in the 2000s, and quite frankly, these days, I'm amazed at what you can get for the money. The SCX24s offer incredible value for like $120, super like hobby grade scale uh, crawlers. Um, love it. Uh, spent some $15 on some little Banggood uh, buggies. It was kind of uh, amazed at what I could get there. Uh, so when I saw this thing in the hobby shop for $60 with a uh, name uh, that's got a lot of credence behind it. Team Associated has always been super active in the racing community. Um, I figured I'd give it a try uh, and see what you can get. Now, the deck was stacked when I opened this thing. Um, I had just gotten one of these $15 Banggood RC cars, and I was quite frankly shocked at how much fun these are. Um, not super high quality build, there's no front suspension, they just kind of have a, have a little flex to the front control arms. Uh, motor is mounted on the back swing arm, live axle there. Uh, Non-proportional steering, uh, but super powerful, tons of speed, uh, great foam tires. Wonderful to spend some time indoors playing around with the, these on the carpet. I'll probably do a separate review of these in the future. So that's where my mindset was at when I picked up the MT-28. It's a venerable brand. It's a good price point. I'm really enjoying these small cell cars. So, so I took a chance. Impulse buy. Kind of a lot of money for an impulse buy, but I figured, you know, what's the worst that can happen? Well, I'll tell you. I took it out of the box, took a look at it, and what do I find? It's the exact same construction. No real front suspension, just depends on a little flex of the build. Um, motor on the live rear axle, hard tires. Um, this is the same kind of build quality that I'd expect for $15 out of Banggood, and it's $60. This is just, it's not. And in a world where you can get a WL Toys four-wheel drive fully upgradable rally car in a similar scale, it's just not comparable. It is offensive that they are selling these for as much as they are. I think they are banking on the team associated name, banking on people not doing research. So here I am doing the research for you. Now, I feel like I should admit, I've never been much into the basher scene, and that seems to be the only thing this thing has going for it. It is pretty indestructible. Uh, you know, I'm smashing into things right and left. Nothing is breaking on it. But at the same time, it's boring. I haven't figured out who this car is for or what kind of driving it's designed for. Um, is it wonderful on carpet or indoors? No, it's kind of boring. Um, it's got a lot of speed, which is nice, but it doesn't accelerate well at all. Um, you're not gonna be drifting with this thing. You're not gonna be doing cookies. Um, uh, it's roughly the same scale and size as the SCX24. Does it crawl? No, not at all. Not even a little bit. So was it fun trail riding in the dirt? No. These rigid little tires, no suspension, it just skitters all over the place. Uh, you can't really control it. Um, is it fun doing donuts and cookies and drifting? No. It's uh, super slow accelerating. There's no torque. This little tiny engine is just depending on massive amounts of RPMs to do anything. Uh, which means it's only really at happy going super fast, and it's super fast you can't control it. Quite frankly, I have no idea who this car is for, other than suckers with too much money. So there you go. If you're looking for small-scale performance, if you want a crawler, get an SCX24. If you want something fast, get a WL Toys 989 or 969. If you are looking for a good value for your money, whatever, don't get the MT-28.